in this video let us understand the fm transmitter what do you mean by fm transmitter frequency modulation transmitter okay we are going to understand only the block diagram in this picture okay so the first block that we have is power supply power so after power supply the first block is power supply block then uh, the power supply is given to the crystal oscillator the function of this crystal oscillator is to produce oscillations okay and this crystal after the crystal oscillator produces the oscillations that is given to buffer the function of this buffer is to isolate is to provide an isolation between the crystal oscillator and uh, the rest of rest uh, rest part of the circuit or rest part of the block diagram so then we have something called as phase modulator the function of this phase modulator is to provide the phase modulation or frequency modulation uh, some sort of modulation either phase or frequency modulation is provided by the phase modulator or the frequency modulation done by the phase modulator then uh, you know we have two parts in this you know uh, this is where the carrier signal comes from and this is where the modulating signal comes from this is the path where the modulating signal comes from we have a microphone where the voice signal is been entered in, uh, entered into the microphone then we have audio power amplifier the function of this audio power amplifier is to amplify the audio signals and then it is given to the sound processor for some processing and then that is given to phase modulator fine here in the phase modulator what happens we have carrier signal in this from this path and we have modulating signal from this path so both are mixed together and a phase modulated signal or a frequency modulated signal is been prepared and it is made ready in this block phase, uh, which we call it as phase modulator then we go, then it goes to the signals goes to frequency multiplier the function of this frequency multiplier is to change the frequency range to the required frequency okay to to the required frequency wherein that frequency can be transmitted over the longer distances for radio communication system then we uh, go to i mean then the signals go to the power amplifier the function of this power amplifier is to amplify the signals sufficiently so that they are transmitted through the antenna over longer distances this is what the basic block diagram explanation so that is what he says even in the answer okay we can just check out the answer what he says in the in the in the first part no? okay what he says here uh, he says that crystal oscillator is used to generate the carrier signal as i already told you crystal oscillator is the oscillator that is used to generate the oscillations what sort of oscillations that is that it produce it produces carrier signal fine then coming down to the buffer the function the main use of the buffer is to provide the isolation between the crystal oscillator circuit and the rest of the part of the block diagram rest of the circuit okay so that is what he says buffer is used to isolate the crystal oscillator from the remaining circuit fine so then the what is uh, the function the, then then comes the function of the phase modulator what is the function of the phase modulator the carrier signal is added to the phase modulator yes through the crystal oscillator we have we produce carrier oscillations carrier signals those carrier signals are added to the phase modulator then what happens in phase modulator the information signals are added to the carrier signals okay so in phase modulator what happens the information signal the information signal is added to the carrier signal fine so now uh, the output of the modulator is the desired fm signal the output of the modulator is what the desired frequency modulated signal fm signal in the sense what fm signal in the sense frequency modulated signal then this signal is given to whom that is given to frequency multiplier the function of the frequency multiplier is frequency multiplier increases the carrier frequency to the desired output frequency whatever the carrier frequency that are, that is already been generated by using a crystal oscillator that carrier frequency will be increased or decreased or maintained to a desired output frequency that is taken care by frequency multiplier okay then we go to understand power amplifier the function of this power amplifier is to amplify 
or increase the power of the signals and then send these signals over the over the transmitting antenna through the over the longer distances through radio communication system so how do we add these audio signals into the given block diagram or into the transmitter how do the audio signals or signal of importance or signal of intelligence or intelligent signal is added to the or modulating signal is added to the given carrier signal that is the last point that we are going to discuss audio signals are added to the modulator using microphones first we have microphones then followed by audio amplifier we we use audio amplifier and then followed by sound processor okay so the audio signals are you can observe this in this block diagram okay the audio signals are give, added to the microphone then to the power amplifier then to the sound processor and then to the phase modulator this is what happens in the addition of in the in the process of addition of audio signals to the given phase modulator the phase modulator modulates the signal then it is given to the frequency multiplier then it is given to the power amplifier then to the antenna 